Welcome to Bouts' Binoculars. Featuring Rocky Mountain National Park. Rocky Mountain National Park is known for its towering 14,000 foot mountains and its active wildlife. Starting on the east side of the park, on the way to several popular trailheads, the valleys in Moraine Park have great mountain views along with elk and mule deer. The Sprog Nature Trail is a relaxing walk around a small lake with a great mountain backdrop. From the Bear Lake Trailhead, you can hike to Dream Lake, which starts with views of Nymph Lake before increasing in elevation. The ascent features scenic overlooks and river views. Even in June, we used micro spikes and hiking poles at the end due to snow. The hike to Dream Lake can also be extended to Lake Hiaha. The steeper and more challenging hike has overlooks, neat rock features, and for us, a secluded lake view. But notably, the snow cover made the trail difficult to follow. From the Fern Lake Trailhead, you can hike to the pool, my favorite trail to park, which is relatively flat and lined with beautiful vegetation, cliffs, and a winding river throughout. Also a common place to spot moose, it has powerful rapids at the end. From the Glacier Gorge Trailhead, you can head to Alberta Falls, which requires a short hike along a river with cliff views leading to an impressive waterfall. These falls are also on the way to several other popular hikes. After Alberta Falls, you can continue to the Lock Trail, my favorite hike of the park, which shifts between mountain overlooks and forest scenery. We experienced snow covered towards the top before reaching the lake view. Another option after Alberta Falls is to continue to Mills Lake where we encountered rain and hail but enjoyed the river crossings and portions of the trail that hiked on Rocky Mountainside. This trail leads you to another incredible lake view. Moving to the north side of the park, you can find the Alpine area, which is accessible via the Trail Ridge Road, which reaches elevations of over 12,000 feet and shows off snow-covered peaks and cliffs from the seat of your car. Also home to the Alpine Visitor Center, the highest elevation visitor center in all the national park system, this area can experience rapidly changing weather. We encountered stormy low visibility conditions being replaced with sunny and clear views in just a matter of minutes.
Finally, on the west side of the park, the Kawanuchi Valley offers picturesque mountain and meadow views along winding rivers. From the East Inlet Trailhead, you can hike to Adams Falls, which is a small loop trail with a great view of raging rapids. 